Hello, welcome back to the Rick and Report. I'm Leah. And I'm Fendi. Let's see what we have in store this fortnight. The Geraldine Sports Exchange happened on the 15th of August. Rickerton has once again added another shield to the collection. The girls basketball had unfortunately lost 26 to 24, whereas the boys basketball had won 98 to 26. This follows with the boys football winning 2-0 and the girls netball losing 30 to 42. Well done to everyone who participated and for showing the value of kairangi on the sports grounds. The winter tournament is happening next week. We have many sports teams travelling around New Zealand versus other school teams in their division. Good luck to everyone involved. We hope everything goes well and that you're showing the Rickman way. The talent show ended last week and was a major success. We have had many amazing performances over the last fortnight. Thank you to everyone who came to watch the performances and showing so much support and enthusiasm. This fortnight we are congratulating Ashma Goldfarb. Ashma acted in the Court Fair Youth Company's play The Sweet Science of Bruising as one of the main characters. This is a play about four young Victorian women who were the first female boxers in the trials that they went through. There were nine full shows and they were all sold out. Shot! Ashma has always wanted to be involved in film and acting and has aspirations to become a professional actress. We wish you the best of luck. Hello everyone, my name is Alice. I'm the one of the cultural committee members this year. Hi, I'm Karen and I'm also one of the cultural committee members this year. And today we're here to talk about our upcoming cultural showcase week. This will be running in week 8. Monday we have our international Kahoot Chris. And Tuesday we have our cultural fashion show day. And Wednesday, Thursday and Friday we have Hana Foundation. Our appeal is for the Pakistan flood emergency and all the money will be donated to UNICEF. Approximately 4.5 million people still suffering and requiring assistance such as fresh water, food and emergency supplies. UNICEF will provide all those under 48 hours and help build the community back together. All of the Hana range about one to five dollars. We will encourage you to bring cash. The sign-ups are posted in your Friday classroom, but we encourage you to sign up as soon as possible as the entries will be closing at the end of week seven. That's all from us. Follow rhs.culture Instagram and see more information and updates. Our hip-hop dance team Manic are going to the nationals very soon. We wish you guys good luck and we hope you have a great time. Speaking of dance, the dance recital is coming up on the 7th of September. Please consider coming to show your support to these dancers as it is a night that you don't want to miss. Though if you can't make it to the performance that night, then tune in to the live stream that is being run by the Mad Team. You can watch it on the Rickerton High School YouTube channel at 6.30 for you. Nominations for the 2024 Board of Trustees Student Rep are now open and they will be closing next Wednesday at 12 p.m. All students in years 9 to 12 are eligible to run for the role, which means every single one of you have a shot, except for the year 13s. Being in this role this year is something I have genuinely enjoyed and is such a unique leadership opportunity here at Rickerton, a way to make a difference. I will not be running for re-election next year, but I seriously encourage all of you to go for this role. There's nothing to lose and everything to gain. Nominations are open now at Student Services, so bring a friend there to nominate you before they close Wednesday next week. And that's all for this fortnight's Rickerton Report. And remember, do the mahi, get the treats.